uh, is this? It's really an unprecedented move by many of these American newspapers, not just some of the country's largest and most pre prestigious papers, such as the New York Times and the Washington Post, but also weeklies, a smaller dailies in some of the states and country towns. Some 350 editorials have been written uh, denouncing the ongoing sort of battle between the, pre the Trump presidency and the newspapers. And just to give you an example of what we are seeing in, in these papers across the country, this is the New York Times. It says, a free press needs you. Also, here in the, uh, the Daily News, their editorial with the headline, cut it out, Mr. President. Now, already President Trump has tweeted about this campaign this morning. He said, the fake news media is the opposition party. It is very bad for our great country but we are winning. Yeah, and I mean, he's famously critical of the media. He calls it fake news all the time. Is this initiative going to have any impact on his administration? I think we can all guess the answer to that pretty well, which is it would seem highly unlikely that it will have any impact at all. As you said, we're consistently hearing this very hostile rhetoric against the media in the United States. It's been called fake. It's been called sick and disgusting. Uh, frequently, reporters are not allowed to ask questions or they're not allowed to attend briefings. There's a certain campaign uh, by the, pre the Trump presidency against certain news outlets and newspapers. It's unlikely that that will stop anytime soon. And in fact, some of the public opinion polls have shown that Around about almost 50 percent of Republicans now say that the presidency should have the power to close a newspaper if he deems it to be uh, dangerous. And that's one of the words that we're consistently hearing from President Trump, that newspapers uh, that they're reporting on his administration is, quote, sick and dangerous.